we have already discussed join operation the join operations described earlier matches the tuples that satisfy the joining condition tuples without matching joining condition are eliminated from the result tuples with null values in the join attributes are also eliminated this type of join where the tuples with no match are eliminated is called as inner joins inner joins are fine if both tables have common matching records if one table do not have record for what the join is built on the query will fail to retrieve that tuple suppose sometimes users or programmers need to get the information when there is no matching records for a row on one of the tables in that case we can use outer joins Outer joins are useful if the user wants to keep all the tuples in the relation A or all those in relation B or all those in both relations A and B in the result of join whether or not they have matching tuples in the other relation. So this outer join satisfies the need of queries in which tuples from the two tables are to be combined by matching the corresponding rows but without losing any tuples for lack of matching values. Let's see left outer join. Left outer join, also known as left join, will contain all records from the left table, even if the right table do not have matching record for each row. Left outer join denoted with this symbol in relational algebra. The left outer join operation keeps every tuple in the first or left relation. This A in A left outer join B result. If no matching tuples is found in B then the attributes of the B in the join result are filled with the null values. Let's see one example. Retrieve the list of employee names as well as the names of the departments if they happen to manage the department. Means we need to get the employee details. If they manage departments, we need to get the department details also. For this, relational algebra query will be employee left outer join department on SSN equal to manager SSN. Suppose we want to retrieve some of the attributes. Let us say first name, middle name, last name, SSN, D name, D number, and their SSN. Then project these attributes from this result. Equivalent SQL query will be select F name, M name, L name, S name, D name, D number, MGR SSN from employee left out a join department on this joining condition SSN equal to manager SSN. Then we will get this result. We have 8 employees and also we have 3 departments. For these 3 employees, there is a matching tuple in this department table. For this one also, for this one also. So, these 3 tuples are included in the result. But if you see these 5 employees, they are not managing any department. These 5 employees are also included in the result. There are no matching tuples in the department table, so all these department table attributes are added with null values. If you use inner join, then only these three tuples will be our result. If you want to keep all employees data, then we can use this kind of outer join. This syntax can be used from Oracle 9i onwards. If you have any Oracle versions older than this 9i, Oracle 8i, you want to use this left outer join, you need to specify like this. Select F name, M name, L name, SSN, D name, D number, MJR SSN from employee, comma, department, where SSN equal to manager SSN. You need to use this plus sign on the side of optional table means you want every tuple from the employee table so this is the optional table here so you have to use plus sign let us see right outer join right outer join also known as right join will contain all records from the right table even if the left table do not have matching rows for each row right outer join denoted with this symbol in relational algebra it keeps every tuple in the second or right relation from B. In the result of A, right outer join B. When no matching tuples are found in this relation, left side relation, all attributes within this relation are added with null values. Here I am modifying department table little bit. Actually this uh, manager SSN is added with not null constraint means when we enter new department details we need to provide the manager SSN value also 
here i want to enter three departments sales human resource and finance department i don't want to specify manager assistant so i am just removing this normal constraint from this manager assistant column alter table department modify manager assistant character of 9 null now you can have null values in this manager assistant earlier we have only these three departments now after adding these three departments result will be like this let us see one example for right outer join retrieve all department details and employee details who are working for each department employee right outer join department d number equal to d num equivalent sql query will be select a star from employee right outer join department on this joining condition d num equal to d number actually your joining condition is d num equal to d number this is oracle 9 i syntax oracle 8 i syntax would be select a star from employee where d num equal to d number here you need not use any alias naming because we do not have any common attributes in this code tables see here we want all the tuples from the department table so optional table here it is employee so you can use less symbol on this employee table side then your result would be like this here we have eight employees they are working for these departments we inserted three new departments there are no employees for these three departments so the result includes these three departments but there are no matching tuples within the employee table so all those values are added with null means here we retrieve all the tuples from the right side table department let us see full outer join full outer join combines the effect of applying both left and right outer joins for those rows that do match the single row will be produced in the result set full outer join denoted by this symbol in relational algebra it keeps all tuples in both left and right relations when no matching tuples are found padding them with null values here i am again changing the employee table i want to just insert a new employee but we have constraint department number which is not null so i am changing that constraint to null alter table employee modify d number integer null now we can insert null values into this d num column in the employee table here i am inserting this new row into the employee table now after insertion of this row employee table will look like this here this new row is added here this employee is not assigned to any department here so this t name value is null let's see full out or join query retrieve department and employee details here we want to use full out or join employee full out or join department here also joining condition t num equal to d number sql query will be select f name m name l name ssn d name d number in here ssn from employee full out or join department on d num equal to t number and then your result will be for all these eight tables this d number from employee table match with this d number in the department table so this eight tables will have all the attributes from employee and department tables let's see this tuple here this employee is not assigned to any department so d num will not match with the any of the department number in the department table so this department table attributes will be filled with null values like that we have three departments in department table these three departments do not have any employees so here also matching condition will fail so all these attributes in the employee table filled with null values this is the oracle 9i syntax oracle 8i syntax will be like this select a star from employee e comma department d where d num equal to d number and plus symbol this is equal to left outer join union select a star from employee department d num it is plus symbol equal to d number this is the right outer join both results will be union then we will get the final result for the full outer join this is oracle 8 syntax